JD, why did you drag us out to a junkyard? Trust me, you do not want me to try this in the lab. Remember how Sir Isaac Newton discovered that objects in motion tend to stay in motion at the same speed and direction? Yeah, he called it the law of inertia. Hey, Cone! Keep your state of motion! It's the law! Right. He said moving objects will only move in one direction. Unless they're affected by an external force like that giant rusty monkey. We're here to test that theory. Von Bolt, get ready. I am always ready. Right. Von Bolt will keep his state of motion after his rocket car comes to a... Ah! Hey, if inertia's meant to keep Von Bolt going in one direction, why is he starting to go down? Oh, just another law. The law of gravity. My goodness, what happened to Von Bolt? Let's just say he got caught up between the force of inertia and the force of gravity. And gravity won. Poor Von Bolt. Next time you plan an experiment, maybe start with research. Sure thing, but it's not as much fun as trial and error. Yes, when I've decided that the result is worth getting, I go ahead on it and make trial after trial until it comes. See? Mr. Edison, what if the trial involved a 15,000-pound rocket engine? Well, yes. That may be overkill. Von Bolt! Goo goo ga 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 ga. Yay! Goo goo ga ga. His memory chips are failing. Then we better make sure he <gasps> doesn't touch the bio bulbs. Or <gasps> drink my fake snot experiment. Or play with the <gasps> whatever that thing is. <gasps> oh no! That thing is the lab's self-destruct mechanism. Von Bolt installed it in case someone should try to steal my inventions. Self-destruct countdown. I didn't know the lab could self-destruct. Cool. Yeah, very cool. Now how do we turn it off? Oh, we just need the password. Von Bolt used the name of his oldest ancestor to stop the self-destruct command. Uh. <sighs> so what was the first robot ever created? Leonardo da Vinci's Mechanical Knight. Try it as a password. Cool, huh? Da Vinci used pulleys and cables to make it sit, stand, and even move its arms and visor. And password entered. Uh-oh, that's not the password. Mr. Edison, Von Bolt's brain is a computer, so technically... 
The first computer ever built is his oldest ancestor! Ni hao. How are you, my friends? Doomed, thanks. How are you? Can't complain. Chang, quick! What was the first computer ever built? Well, I know the first computers used vacuum tubes, which were then replaced by transistors, followed by integrated circuits and today's microprocessors. If you want to know more about computers, ask Charles Babbage. Bye! I read about Babbage. He was a math genius and a mechanical engineer. JD and I will visit Babbage. You guys babysit Von Bolt. Make sure he gets his nap. And no TV before bed. Oh, no! Oopsie. I'll get a mop. I'll get a diaper. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Babbage. We're here to ask you all about computers. I know quite a lot about them, actually. What's the name of the first computer ever built? It all depends. There were many first computers. The Xerox Note Taker was the first portable computer. Or the Altair 8800, the first personal computer. Long before it came the IBM 650, the first mass-produced computer. And then the ENIAC, also known as the Giant Brain, was the first general-purpose computer. And, of course, Conrad Zeus's Z3, the world's first fully automatic, programmable digital computer. Given enough time, it could compute the same tasks as modern-day computers. Okay, got it, got it, got it! Note taker, Altair, 8800, IBM 650, NEAC, Z3. None of the passwords are working! Shh! I'm reading Von Bolt's favorite computer manual. Are you aware that your little gizmo there has more computing power than all the computers in this room? The Z3 had a computing speed of about 5 to 10 hertz. The ENIAC operated at 100,000 hertz. That's 10,000 times faster. The Altair ran at 2 million hertz. And a modern smartphone runs at a speed of 1.3 gigahertz. Guys, the lab will self-destruct in three minutes. We need the name of the first computer ever built. And finally, the earliest and most brilliant innovation in the history of computers, the analytical engine, the first mechanical computer. Who built this monster? Why, I did, of course. Well, I never actually got to build it, but a model of my difference engine was made. Nope. Not the password. Well, if you think you can find an earlier computer than this, you might as well go back to ancient times. Great idea. Thanks, Mr. Babbage. Hang on. How do you know so much about computers that were invented long after your time? <laughs> oh, dear boy. The virtual world is full of wonder. I was trying to save the lab from blowing up. Is that Von Bolt playing with the switch for the giant hand catapult? <gasps> Bad robot! Did I mention we're doomed? Maybe not. My research says the very first computing device ever built dates all the way back to 2400 BC. That's what's so neat about science. One invention inspires the next, and... What's, what's the, the password? password? Oh, sure. It was called the abacus. You could use the beads to add or subtract. See? Ten, nine, eight. You get the idea. Password abacus accepted. Self-destruct has stopped. <laughs> Switch! Wait, the lab is safe? I'm glad that 
that's over. Goody, goody. Better. Such a mess. I must clean up. Bumble's back to normal. The second crash must have rattled his processors so he remembers who he is. <laughs> well, I'm just glad that Angie figured out the right password. See? Proper research is a lot faster and a lot safer than trial and error. Yeah, but a lot less fun. Don't go away. There's another episode coming up next. Town young Charlie Babbage had a frown, eating gnarly cabbage, had an abacus and a pea shooter. He was just like us, but he dreamed computer. Every other kid was taking a bath. What Charlie did was working his mouth. While other kids were blowing bubbles, Charlie tried to solve the world's troubles. Mainframe desktop tablet or smartphone. These are different types of computers. A top wrist wash, jewel glasses. These are different types of computers. If you're in the jam and run out of ramp, and you need to scram to get eggs and ham. Bits and fights about bits and bites. Digits, widgets, flashing lights. Save it, save it, have no fear. Save again or it'll disappear. Back it up or it'll be disaster. Hack it up, you're gonna need a password. Mainframe, desktop, tablet, or smartphone. These are different types of computers. A top wristwasher, jewel glasses. These are different types of computers. Subscribe to Cartoon Channel.